This illustrates using different prefixes for a particular network address. The address can be seen here to be in the four octals 172.16.4 and 0. If we look at the first network address we can see that it's got a prefix of 24. Now what this means is that there are 24 bits for the network. That of course, if you take it away from 32, it tells you how many bits are available for hosting and the range. If we look at the binary, if we look at the binary here of the 24 bits, you can see that the last four bit, eight bits, sorry, are uh, going to be zero, as in the case for all uh, network addresses. But we know that it's going to be all of those eight bits because the first 24 bits are used for the network address. That is the blue here. There, just under there. And we know that the host range representing all combinations of the host bits except where the host bits are all zeros or all ones will be as shown. That is, they will be the blue for the network and the red for the host. In this case it's the whole of the last byte. That is, the whole of the final octet is used for the host range because the prefix is 24. This means that for the broadcast address, when all the bits are set, it will have the value of 255. And that's where we get this range from in the host range. It will always go from 1, because it can't be 0, since that's the network address, to 254, because it can't be 255, because that is the broadcast address. And the broadcast address, well, of course, it's when all the bits are set. And it will be the whole of the final octet, that is, the final byte. Now, in the case of 25 prefix here, not quite the same. One of the bits of the final octet, that is one of the final eight bits, is going to be used by the network. This does not change the network address. The last byte will always be zero. But it will change the host range. The host range cannot be what it was which was the whole of the 8 bits, it's going to be only 7 bits. 25 plus 7 is equal to 32. So if it's the final 7 bits, we can ask the question, what would 7 bits all switched on be? And the answer, of course, is 127. So we've got the broadcast address as 172.16.4. Dot one two seven. To try and find the host range, we exclude zero because that's the network address. We exclude one two seven because that's the broadcast address, and we get the numbers one through to one two six, as you can see written there. The binary representation should help you understand why and how this is happening. With respect to the final one there, the uh, one with the red that says 1111110, that is when you add them all together, 126. And the other numbers there are of course 1, 2 and 3. 
And what we've left out is all the numbers in between, although they will exist and be available for the host range of machines. If it's another bit that's prefixed as well, that is, if we're going to actually use another bit for the network address, as in 26, we're going to have an even smaller number of host uh, machines that we can hook up. Uh, the reason for this should be fairly clear. Because we've got less bits, we must therefore have less range. Now we know that the network address will not change because, of course, it's going to be zero in the last byte for the network. It's actually going to be only six bits that are um, available for the host, but they will be set to zero for the network address. The host range will go from one through to whatever the value is when you switch on the number of bits that are left which of course are six bits uh, less one because that's the broadcast address or put it another way let's find the broadcast address if you have six bits and you turn them all on what do you get one two three four five six all turned on give you in fact sixty three so the broadcast address will be 172.16.463. That means that the host range will be from 1 through to 62. And we can see the binary represented there. Now finally, in this explanation, we're going to see what happens when we have 27 bits prefix. You should be able to work out now for yourself how many bits are left for the host range. If you have 27 bits then there's only 5 bits left for the host range. When you turn all 5 bits on you get 31 that is the broadcast address. One less than 31 is funnily enough 30 and that looks like the number you can see uh, near the bottom the 11110 so that will be the final host machine and the first host machine will of course have the number 1 as the final octet so a range from the uh, 1 to 30 now, I just want to talk a little bit about the number of hosts. If we look at the when the 24 prefix is used, that is the three um, bytes are used for the network address and one byte for the host range. When we look at that, you can see that there are 254 hosts. And that matches exactly the highest host range address number 254 and another way to find this is to find the broadcast address last byte which is 255 and take away 1 that's 254 hosts now if you take the uh, 25 prefix the broadcast address is 127 so therefore there must be 126 hosts and for 26 prefix since the broadcast address is 63 in the final octet there must be 62 let's take away one hosts and finally for 27 bits remember we said there are 27 bits prefix so five bits available for the host range which gave us when they're all turned on 31 if we take away 30 it means that we have 30 hosts possible on the network